Hi everybody, Brad again here. Hey, in the first segment, which I sent out a while back, I showed you the tools that I use with my MIG welder and my plasma cutter to make artwork. Today I just wanted to go over a few things and show you my uh, plasma cutting table, which is extremely cheap and something I sort of thought of myself. I don't have the space to buy one of those big metal tables that you'll see a lot of people have in their shops with the the ribs on them and things like that, or the water-based uh, ones, or the CNC machines and stuff like that. So I'm trying to go cheap here because I don't have a lot of space and I frankly don't have a lot of money for something like that and I don't use it enough to pay for itself. So I wanted to show you what, what I set up. In the past I've always done it on the on the ground and recently what I've done is I picked up an old chair that was out in front of somebody's house, said for free. I fixed it with my MIG welder and then I use that now with my plasma table so I can sit down and do the artwork that I do because I can sometimes I can be down there for several hours at a time doing a picture, a very detailed picture. It's not like cutting one or two things where I can stand up and then move on to something else. So I just want to show you real quick what I'm gonna my table and I'm gonna do something which I I should have done many years ago is make sort of a ribbed raised rib metal pieces so that the plasma can cut through very easily onto the table. In the past I've used pieces of wood and when you go through and accidentally hit a piece of wood from the top side or from going through the metal you're cutting it creates an awful torch and basically almost ruins the picture that I'm working on but I'll show you what I'm going to do there. The pieces of wood I've used in the past as you can see they've they've had their fair share of burns and cuts and stuff like that but I'd lay those down put the metal on top of it and then cut the metal out because so, you want a space between the obviously between what you're cutting and the back of it because you don't want it to be blown up and you need some space for it to blow through so that's what I've used in the past here's what's going to happen today I'm going to try to make this fairly short here right now what I have is you're seeing a piece of sheet metal in the very end here I'm going to cut out that corner that's going to go into that frame I made but in the meantime, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you that I'm going to cut some ribs here and make, just make two standoffs, like a T-bar, so to speak. So instead of using those pieces of wood, I'm going to use these pieces of metal to do, make the T-bars. So um, let's go to it and I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Alright, so first what I'm going to do, move the wood parts out of the way. This right here is my handy dandy plasma table, which you probably saw in the last video. Um, pretty simple. What it was, I used to do on the ground, you can tell that. Um, just an old table that I had, I needed something short and small. This is an old backer board from a tile, from tile backing like around showers and stuff like that. So that's made of called cement board. You can buy a cheap piece at Home Depot or Lowe's. But that's another example of what some of the pictures I make. That's the rod of Eclipsius which you see on a lot of ambulances, sort of a medical symbol. So people like those, and I live in a medical community, so a lot of doctors like to buy that, things like that. So here's the plasma table, very cheap, very easy. Old table, and that was an old leftover piece of concrete board. Okay, so here we go. What I'm gonna do is first cut these pieces of metal. These pieces of metal I had in my garage on the side, sitting around, so this is not gonna cost me anything. It's something I already had from leftover projects. So. I'm going to fire it up in my plasma cutter here. Might help if I had my gas on for my plasma cutter. There we go. Make sure we're working. Yep, there we go. I have to go a little bit slower on this. This is about eighth inch thick steel versus the 20 gauge metal that I'm using for my picture. So I'm going to go a little slower than normal. But... Okay. Nice. Okay. This is the 8 inch steel bar. Same here, but this is going to be the top piece. And cut into here.
simple enough. Apologize for my compressor. I have to have my compressor right next to me here. That's where the 30 amp breaker is at, or the 30 amp panel. So we're going to weld these. I'm going to weld these bars up here, and this is going to replace my pieces of wood that I had. It almost started maybe the house on fire at one time. So here we go. Get the big welder going. Cranked up the amps on the big welder just one more notch higher than I do one with my orange grove pictures when I make the oranges. So there we go, got my T-bars made, no more flammable wood underneath it, so let's give it a shot with a plasma cutter, try these big, big boys out here. nicer should have done that 15 years ago okay so Eastwood 20 amp plasma cutter let's see we got the I got these I can adjust the height of the wheels this. Okay, let's give it a shot.
beautiful. Not much slag in the back, but I'm not going to worry about that because in the picture I will. So what's going to happen, I made this frame a while back and in the back set I had to use a router. Set that compressor off for a little bit. Had to use a router, so we're going to cut these corners off of here. The reason being I used a router is this wood is all different as far as the width goes and the, the depth. So I had to pull the face forward and that would leave a piece that might be off on the back so I couldn't run it through my table saw. But anyway, that's, another, that's a story for another day. So this is going to go in here, but obviously it doesn't fit because the corner's on there. I can use a pair of shears, but since I got my plasma cutter out, I'm just going to go quickly. over here take off my little guy and on each corner just make a quick cut around So obviously I had already measured this out before I started my video here. So let's see what we got. Let's do it. Need to cut some more off. Something nice about a plasma cutter, just cut it, cut it a little bit less than what you think you're gonna need, and you can always cut off more later. Good to go. How's that? So this is going to be one of the metal pictures that I make. I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet. Probably an orange gold picture. But you can see that's an example right there. That's a lot of the medical symbol you see on most of the ambulances, the AMR ambulances around here. And of course I made the frame around it. So a lot of stuff you can make. Last time I showed you some other pictures of orange groves and things like that. So anyway, just wanted to show you my plasma cutting table. We just made these real quick. So these pieces of wood will go in the fireplace. These are done. So now I won't start the house on fire, hopefully, either with my, my standoffs. And I like only a couple of standoffs because the more you have back behind what you're cutting through, you get blowback whenever you go over one of these ribs. So I try not to go over any ribs whatsoever on anything metal, or definitely not the old wood that I was using because that then the picture of the cutting doesn't turn out as sharp and neat as I'd like to. So anyway, that's all for now. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Learned a little bit, I know I did myself, that uh, I should have made those T-ribs a long time ago. Take care.